A big day for Arbor Youth Services in Lexington. The nonprofit that served homeless youth since 1976 just cut the ribbon on their newest home, and they couldn't have done it without your help. Claire Crouch has the details in this Positively LEX 18 update. What a difference 19 days makes. It was September 13th we last told you about Arbor Youth Services' latest expansion and their critical deadline of October 1st. Right on schedule, they cut the ribbon on their new space. Right. Over these last few days, we've had people refinishing the floors, fixing holes in the walls, painting. Lexington officer Ryan Holland yeah, has been instrumental in the process, property. coordinating renovations and helping bring in donations from people and businesses like Ashley Homestore, who donated the beds. I didn't really lose hope that the right people that were going to come forward because they always do because of the great people we have in our community. With this new 14 bed shelter, for the first time, Arbor Youth Services can now provide a place to sleep for 18 to 24 year olds. Until now, they've only been able to refer them to adult shelters. Just to be able to fill this gap in services that has always been there, um, that's just huge. A sigh of relief for Executive Director Lori Clemens. She says this new home is so much more than just a place to sleep, but a place to shower, do laundry, and above all, feel safe. Adult shelters can be very scary when you're 18 year olds. Come on, that's still a kid, man. So now they have a safe place to go with just people in their age bracket that does incredible things for their self-esteem and their mental health. The work on this historic house is far from over. The outside still needs thousands of dollars worth of repairs to make sure it continues to stand for decades. Work officer Holland and company know is well worth it. This facility will help hundreds of kids for years to come. After such a hard year, hard year and a half, like this is just a huge day of celebration and relief for all of us. In Lexington, Claire Crouch, LEX 18 News. Well, if you'd like to donate resources or money to their continued renovations, go to lex18.com. If you have a positive story in your community, let us know. We want to tell it. Email us at positivelylex18 at wlex.tv.